Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with Phone Arena and right now I have the Cellcon A119Q uh, Signature HD smartphone in my hands. So this phone was recently launched as a small upgrade to the Cellcon A119 Signature HD which itself was quite nice in terms of build quality and whatnot. So this has an upgraded processor, it has a MediaTek MT6589 chip, a quad core chip with PowerVR SGX544 MP2. So what I'm going to do is show you a couple of games, a couple of casual games and a couple of graphically intensive games to show you how this device performs in both these. So first up we will take a look at uh, the casual games, for example Subway Surfers and Temple Run 2. So both are endless running games and uh, these are probably the most popular games that most people play on smartphones like these. So make sure uh, to select the highest quality graphics on the uh, settings and as you can see the dust particles and uh, the overall performance here seems to be really nice with shadows, the water and everything. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see in the camera but oh, there was a bit of a lag there but then uh, not really fluid in our opinion because uh, in lower graphic settings this is uh, more fluid and unfortunately something uh, just halted the game and now it's pretty fluid uh, not exactly 60 fps kind but you know this is definitely playable uh, apart from a few hiccups no, definitely not playable so as you can see here it definitely got stuck and uh, we are restarting the game here it seems to have a bit of problems at high settings uh, but otherwise it should be totally fine so that was a quick demo of uh, Temple Run 2 on the Cellcon A119Q Signature HD. So let's take a look at Subway Surfers then. This is also a very similar game. It does seem to have some problems with uh, the touch performance, but the graphics performance seems to be really, really smooth as expected uh, with the 544 MP2 chipset, which is really powerful. There are some slight hiccups here and there. As you can see, it did not register my touch well. So that was a problem I faced even earlier, as you noticed. So, something's wrong with uh, the touch sensitivity or uh, the game itself or the graphics processor itself. But you know that that was a quick demo of Subway Surfers on the Silicon A119Q Signature HD. So let's take a look at uh, graphically intensive games now. First up Asphalt 7. Asphalt 7 is uh, one of the most popular racing games on Android. Oh, better than uh, other devices of the same range actually. There is a bit of lag that is associated with the game but the roads seem to have really nice texture and even the car seems to be really 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 nice. This might not be the most performant uh, experience here, but definitely the graphics are really nice, just like what you would expect of a high-end phone. This is really good. It's very hard to control the game with uh, the camera in my face, but still, you know, the graphics are really good and the performance is uh, pretty adequate, even though a bit laggy and a bit buggy in some places. Good performance and great graphics on the Asphalt 7. That was a quick demo then. Let's move on to the other game. Dead Trigger. So this is a zombie uh, horror game, survival. I've already played into 
mission 3 of the game so it will not be from the start but this is a nice place to uh, resume so as you can see here the graphics and the textures are very good the performance too is really nice lots of zombies there seems to be some problem that makes the games pause and the display blackout not sure if it's the uh, GPU issue or some phone problem itself but uh, it did not happen before but it is happening now not sure what the problem is so yeah that was a quick demo of dead trigger really nice graphics and uh, well the device is not willing to cooperate so that's it uh, pretty nice actually much better than what we have seen in other MT6589 devices Asphalt 7 seems to be really good uh, really good looking in fact and other games too perform really nicely except for the fact that something's uh, buggy uh, during game performance the display blacks out and resumes uh, normally so that that's a random bug we haven't seen before but still you know taken into consideration that might be the only problem we have got on this phone so that's about it hit the like button if you like this video and do check back for more videos like these and hey subscribe to our channel thanks for watching